Alright, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Okay, so for today, we are going to look at some of the application of atmospheric pressure in daily life. So the uh, the first uh, application is when we are using the straw, okay, to drink water inside a container, for example. So the air pressure inside the box here or the container decrease. Okay, what, however, the higher atmospheric pressure outside, sorry, the higher air pressure outside will eventually press the liquid. So, it, this will cause the liquid inside the container to flow into the straw and flow into our mouth. So, atmospheric pressure is a pressure exerted by the atmosphere on the surface of the earth and all objects on the earth. So, basically, the concept of air pressure, there are only two things, okay? The application is based berdasarkan kepada dua benda okay the first one higher pressure and a second one which is low pressure kita nak tengok the flow okay dia punya susun alir daripada high pressure pressure yang tinggi kepada pressure yang rendah okay uh, plunger Okay, the plunger will press again the sink, so the air inside the the plunger, okay, will be forced out. So will the air force out? So this will cause the area inside the plunger will be low pressure. Then high pressure in the pipe pushes out blockage. Okay, so when this plunger is pulled up. Okay, Magdeburg Hemisphere. Bila dalam Magdeburg Hemisphere tu yang nombor satu tersebut, vacuum. Vacuum ni maksudnya langsung tak ada air molecule. So, there is no pressure. Tetapi, atmospheric pressure di luar, okay, sangat kuat. So, this will push the Magdeburg Hemisphere. So, dia akan membuatkan sesuatu tekanan yang sangat kuat. So, cara kita nak buka balik Magdeburg Hemisphere, kita kena masukkan udara ke dalam kawasan vacuum tersebut Supaya ada air, bila air akan akan adanya air pressure Sebab air pressure, air molecule tu akan collide dengan uh, Magdeburg container okay, Dia punya wall dan akan menolak lah Magdeburg Hemisphere tu akan terpisah dua Okay, straw macam yang saya sebut tadi okey dalam straw tu dia less air, uh, air pressure compare with the outside straw jadi sebab itulah air boleh ditolak masuk ke dalam straw dan masuk ke dalam mulut okey sama juga dengan uh, siphon okey di kawasan B Uh, lower air pressure compare di kawasan yang dalam A so a higher atmospheric pressure on the surface of water will push the air sorry will push the liquid out of the siphon okay side range pun sama juga lower pressure dalam uh, side range tersebut So, higher atmospheric pressure di kawasan yang luar daripada side range akan menolak 
liquid masuk ke dalam syringe. So mesti ada guna perkataan uh, low air pressure, high atmospheric pressure. Okay, perkataan ni mesti digunakan lah supaya menunjukkan high and low. Saya sarankan kamu guna high and low lah sebab dia memang paling simple sekali nak ingat. Okay, vacuum cleaner. Low pressure inside the vacuum. Tapi, outside the vacuum, higher pressure. Higher air pressure. So, dia akan push the dust into the vacuum cleaner. Okay, condensed milk pun sama. Okay, low air pressure in the can. Tapi higher atmospheric pressure on the outside. So this will push the milk easily out of the can. Okay, thank you for listening.